Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm standing in, on the back side of this house and I figured I'd do a quick little episode on cracking and walls and, and specifically this is a brick wall and you can see there is uh, some degree of cracking and it stair steps some and it's normal to kind of see cracking especially around window corners but usually you're going to see that at the top sides where there's a brick lintel uh, that goes across there to help support that load above it and usually they're rusted but what happens is that lintel will expand and it can cause some degree of cracking along the corners up there and usually you can see this around garage door corners as well so just know that if you have a brick home and there's some cracking in those corner areas that that's well, pretty much normal for that to happen uh, but while I'm here uh, I do have a very good example of cracking with displacement and so we're just going to take a look at that real quick oh by the way that's one of those old clay city brick buildings back there there's a lot of houses that were built with this uh, back in the 50s and 60s that was a brick company in Fairhope usually they paint them so let's just get back over here to show this displacement cracking so I'm going to zoom in over there and you can see it really good I mean it's really displaced you can see on the front and the side there but it's also on the other side as well and so if you see that kind of cracking where it gets wider as it goes and stair stepping uh, that's the time you probably do want to get a structural engineer involved because really they're the only ones that are qualified uh, to render professional opinions as the significance of it and also what to do to repair it and generally home inspectors are not qualified to do that unless they are structural engineers now another thing you want to do too and this is a good example of this you can see there's a real good viewable area of the lower foundation and that's good because now you know you can actually come out here and and check it every once in a while to see if there's any cracking uh, starting to develop in it and it's, it's not uncommon to have some hairline cracks going through it especially on the corners it's I see it where it usually cracks fairly good at the corner areas but that's some somewhat normal for that to happen especially on the corners but if you have you no know, displacement cracking in your foundation you also you know depending on how bad it is you might have to get a structural engineer involved with that but if it's just hairline cracks probably the thing to do is take a photograph uh, while you've noticed it and also seal it up you know, with caulk or whatever and then take a photograph after you've done that and just document them and keep a record of it uh, on your hard drive and so if it comes up in an inspection report some years later when you go to sell your home you know you have documented these and it will kind of lessen you know the concern about that because you know you've documented it and you know they're there and you've also taken measures to monitor that over time so I just thought I'd put that out there and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and take care